Last night in Port Barry, the Devils hosted Opelousas Catholic, a pair of 2-0 teams. A pair of old district foes, but the rivalry keeps ticking. OC top Vermilion Catholic last week scoreless here. Jesse Waugh to Ronald Pate, but the bobble is intercepted by Parker Spear. Port Barry can't capitalize. Later in the quarter, Waugh pump fakes and fires a perfect strike to Cad Terrio for six. Vikings take a lead, 7-0 lead. And never look back, winning 42 to nothing. Seth Lewis was there last night and has as is all the matter, moves to 3-0. They say that weird things can happen in a rivalry game, and it had that kind of wacky feel at the beginning of this one. Four combined turnovers within the first six minutes, but after that, the Vikings taking control. Thanks to a breakout performance from quarterback Jesse Roy, who had six touchdowns in the performance. Our offense runs through him, and he's done a good job getting the ball to the open guys in the run game stuff and uh, you know tonight we necessarily weren't as clean as we could be or would like to be in the run game stuff. He did a great job of getting the ball up to the receivers and letting them make a play on it. I felt pretty good with our matchups on the, uh, the edges with our receivers against their defensive backs and we made it happen all night. It, it's on 100 right now. He threw it up, I just got to go get it. It's, it's, make eye contact before the ball snap. I know I'm going to get it. Just throw it, I'm going to go get it. Every week we uh. We try to block block as well as we can for Jesse to, to let things open up to see if uh, anything anything is open. And whenever the offense is clicking the way it is, it's easier for Jesse to be able to go through his progressions and make something happen, make plays as an athlete. I don't think nobody in the state could hold all our receivers. They might double team me, but then I got a slot receiver that can catch and two more that can catch. So there's no really stopping it. We're fortunate to have some some really good athletes on the outside. And, uh, you know, they're tough guys to try to cover one-on-one. -on -one. And when you've got that kind of asset on the team, you know, it's great to be able to utilize it. When other things aren't going and it's not clicking the way you'd like in other phases of the game, it's a great get-out-of-jail-free card. I think we can go a long ways. If we can throw it and run it effectively, we're going to be really hard to stop because we've got a very good defense and we can put up enough points, we should win a lot of games. So the Vikings advance to 3-0. Next up, 4-0-C, they'll host Kinder. And while it wasn't the best night for Port Barry with games coming up against Mamu, Pine Prairie, and Avoyles, they have a chance to enter a tough 6-2-8 district play with a winning record. In Port Barry, Seth Lewis, KTC Sports.